Hey guys, so we have the summer kitchen smoke house slash sun oven storage facility ready. Slash doll house. Slash doll house. We just did a sun oven video. Where is my stupid camera? There it is. Okay, look at the camera. We just did some live videos with me making split pea soup and Catherine showing her already finished baked bread in the sun oven. And I really wanted to make a dessert for the girls to try, so we could try out the double decker feature, because uh, these pots come as a double decker. So this is rhubarb from the garden. I already have quite a bit of water, probably half a cup of water in there. I think I'm going to add a little bit more. And we're still cooking off grid. There's no power out here in the sun, uh, in the summer kitchen. So I'm going to put a little bit more water in. And when I was a kid and I was first learning how to make apple pie. I used a recipe that had tapioca in it. So, we're going to put some tapioca in. I tapioca with a flower. It is. It's made out of tapioca. Didn't we try and use that as rice one time? No, th that's a different one. That one is not more of an Indian type of a thing. So, I'm going to stir that in a little bit. And what the tapioca will do is it will thicken. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Off Grid. How are you? This will thicken it a little bit so that it'll turn out more like a pie or more like a, a cobbler that's been thickened without having to have anything gluteny in it. So the tapioca actually doesn't make it keto. I could have just steamed it with a little bit of water and, and used something else, but I'm probably not eating this myself. Probably the girls will eat it anyway. So there we go. Can't All right. Um, are your, your hands, I don't, are they clean? Mm -hmm. I can go rinse them off at the cup and um, here, if you want to sprinkle it, you can. Okay, slow, slow down the sprinkle. We don't want ants in here. It is rhubarb, so I am adding a little bit of the swerve. We are inside the smokehouse. The girls got it all cleaned up. We've still got a, some stuff over there that needs to be swept up, but it came in with the plastic. I had put plastic up because we were getting some really weird dappled lighting coming in. Slats like with the slats of the smokehouse, we were getting slats on our faces and just making it hard to film. So, uh, there's the swerve, a little bit of cinnamon, and probably what this is going to turn into is probably going to be more like a, a, a rhubarb stew. If I'd had the ingredients, what I would have done is I would have taken some coconut flour, some almond flour, and some nuts and mix them together with butter. That was what I forgot. Can you go grab butter? But when you bring it in, don't put it on the table. Put um, it on the table. It in the house? It's in the fridge. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of between worlds right now. We're using the off grid cabin still for most things, but we're using the inside on grid fridge a little bit. We're still cooking off grid in the little cabin. We're cooking here. So we're not using the kitchen in the house because we don't want to mess it up. Um, you want to come show uh, not right now because we're talking about the, the dessert. So, I already have split pea soup in the sun oven. Now what I'm going to do is take this and put it in on top of that and then I'm going to put the lid on. But I also do not have hot pad holders. And when you are using the solar oven, you have got to have hot pad holders because when you open that thing, it's very hot and sometimes there's steam and so you just have to be a little bit careful. No, 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 no. Once again, clean hands. Um, being on keto, we do eat a lot of butter. Even if I don't eat this, it's going to have a lot of butter in it. I love butter. Hopefully it should be pretty good. Pita pata butter. Pita pata butter. All right. So this. Should I go get almond butter? No, because that's like peanut butter. It doesn't work the same. So, okay, this goes back in the fridge, please. I have a basket here that we are going to just take everything back to the house in so that we're not making multiple trips and so that everything stays super clean. I'll show that to you here really quick. See? There is my basket. We were using hot water for the lentils. So this was my hot water. When you do lentils or any kind of beans, after you soak them, if you can use hot water, they just cook much faster, especially in something that's solar powered. It just boosts the the effectiveness. And then this was my cold water. And so all these things can go back into the cabin. cabin. I need to come out and sweep this off a little better. I had the kids cleaning it up. So I brought my own implements out and now I see that I need a 
maybe some plastic sheeting along here if I'm going to be cooking out here. I definitely need a brush so that I can brush things off because we are outside. It does have slats in it, which means that dirt blows in. And um, at the very least, I want some, maybe some cookie sheets out here so that I have a clean surface that can be wiped down. So there's that. Paige, can you take this basket back and go put it on the table? And Kai, can you take the waters back and put them on the table? I'm going to see if I can turn everything around. It doesn't look fantastic in here, again, because I had to put some plastic up. I can show it to you right now. I had to put some plastic up because we were getting, again, these slats. It'll look a lot better once I've used it a couple times, and I can kind of make sure that I know what I'm doing. Once again, I'm not sure that I know what I'm doing. I'm doing. We'll see if we can turn this. So you can see the sun oven. All right, so there's the sun oven. It's already been in the sun for a bit. I don't know how hot it is yet. There's no, okay, I'm going to show you how to burn yourself with the sun oven. So watch, this is how not to do it. So it's already been in for maybe 12 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, and it's already at 250 degrees. So I'm going to have to be really careful putting it in since I don't have it. It's too hot. What else do I have? Might be, I could use scissors. Let's see. All right, I've already got food in there. I just need to lift the lid off, put this on, and then put the lid back on. So we'll see if I can do that without burning myself. Part of the problem is what I'm doing is split pea soup, which has liquid in it. And I had to tilt this in order to get it to be in direct sunlight. So I'm going to slow the cooking down by laying down the sun oven. All right, so we did that. Oh, I keep forgetting where the camera is. Sorry, guys, I have my old phone. And it's kind of... We have the split pea soup in the bottom. We have the rhubarb keto cobbler in the top. And we need to... Oh, I should shut it. Sorry, guys. All right, so I'm going to shut it. So it's not, it's not ideal, we scoot it back. But it was up at 250 after only being here for like 10, 12 minutes. So I need to move in and push the pot to the back a little bit so it's more in the full sun. All right, and I don't have a hot pan holder. All right, so now it's in full sun. Can you hold that, honey? Thank you. I love the actually, wind. We actually have, I'll show you, we wind. And this should be good until probably, I think, noon. It might, well, even at noon, I don't think it needs to necessarily be moved. Probably until almost dinner time. Because the sun is going to arc almost directly overhead. So, I'm excited to see how that goes. It smells really good. If you want to see the video that we made with bread and also split pea soup, go over to Facebook and watch that. Uh, Catherine from Little Bits of Heaven Homestead made the bread and she showed it finished instead of starting it, which was kind of nice. But we've got some gardens to go water. Hopefully this was interesting to you. If you're interested in sun oven or spinning wheels or anything like that, we have them on, uh, they're on Etsy under Dirt Patch Heaven. And the cookbook that we use to make all this is Tara's Dining on a Dime, which I believe is going to be in the description once this isn't live anymore. Hey, Joran. 
Off Good Lifestyle said, can I cook bacon? I'm sure you could cook bacon in it, but um, it would be soggy because you're going to have to put a lid on it, I think. Um, it cooks best with the lid on. Generally with bacon, if you want it to be um, crispy, it needs to be... I don't know. I, I haven't tried it. I'm sure it would splatter a little bit, so you'd want a lid on. Because if the glass gets dirty, it doesn't cook as efficiently. Um, but it's, it's certainly something to experiment with. You can dehydrate in it, for sure. Uh, but we just haven't experimented with it that much up to this point, because I haven't made it convenient. Now I've made it convenient, we're going to keep playing with it. Catherine loves it, she makes bread in it, she did seafood in it the other day, and they use it a ton. She did chicken in it. She did chicken in it. And so far for us, because we've been off-grid and we get a little bit nervous about food poisoning being off-grid, we haven't done meat in it yet, but Catherine has. So. Go check her out, Little Bits of Heaven Homestead. Uh, make sure to go check us out on Facebook if you haven't already. We're going to go water some gardens. 